Hi, do you ever experience finger or hand pain? If so, the culprit to this may be coming from your forearm, wrist, finger, hand flexors. I'm Dr. Katherine Price, physical therapist, and in this video, I'm gonna go over trigger point release of the hand and finger flexor muscles. So there are different flexor muscles in the forearm. They're made up of the flexor digitorum, there's a superficialis and a profundus, a flexor carpi radialis muscle, a flexor carpi ulnaris muscle, and a palmaris longus muscle. And it's going to bend the wrist. If you do a lot of repetitive gripping or pulling with your hand and your fingers, you can, with that repetitive movement, develop trigger points in the forearm. So what I wanna to do to release that is I'm gonna work my way down the forearm. Now these muscles all converge on a common flexor tendon, which is on the medial epicondyle, which is so if I, my upper arm bone, if I go right down the inside, you'll feel it start to uh, flare inward, so to speak, towards you. That's gonna be the epicondyle. A common flexor tendon is going to be attached there and those muscles are then gonna come down, insert on the metacarpals in the hand, as well as the um, pisiform. So the pisiform is a sesamoid bone, which is a bone that floats, and your flexor muscles are going to insert in around and on that bone, as well as in the fingers. So they're gonna flex the fingers. There's no muscle tissue in the fingers per se, but you do have the tendons and they operate on a pulley system, which is how you can develop trigger finger. So you want that system to be operating smoothly so that the tendons will glide and not get stuck. So working up in the forearm can be beneficial. Again, the medial epicondyle is gonna be my starting point and I'm gonna work my way down the forearm on the inner part. So I'm gonna just come up to the start and I'm gonna start on the inside here. I can use my thumb or I can work my, take my finger pads and work my way down. Look for any areas of tension or tenderness and you may experience the referral down into the hand fingers and that means that you are most likely on a trigger point. You wanna hold that, release that until that tenderness subsides. So you can use your finger pads to do this. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds to release a trigger point. So applying pressure to that area that is tender and holding it until the pain or tenderness subsides. And you can work your way down, 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 close towards the wrist. Now I can also use a single lacrosse ball and on a hard surface, preferably, I'll then take my opposite hand, apply pressure and just slowly mobilize the muscle and the fascia in the forearm and just working my way down towards my wrist. The tool that I like the most is going to be a roller. And to use this, I'll just slide my forearm right between the roller and I'm gonna apply then pressure with my top arm and I'm just gonna work my way up towards my elbow an area that I find that is tender or tense. I'll just move about a half an inch forward, a half an inch back and work on that area until that subsides. So this is how I will mobilize the fascia and address the trigger points in the uh, hand and finger flexors. After I've worked on those muscles, um, till the tenderness has subsided, it takes usually about two minutes if it's been there for chronically a long time. And if you have carpal tunnel or hand and wrist pain and symptoms that have been there for quite some time, it can take longer. So you can work on that um, as much as you need to start to get that tension and tenderness to subside. After I release that, I then wanna stretch my uh, hand and finger flexors. And to do that, I'm just going to pull my fingers back with my elbows straight, and I should feel a stretch right through the front of the forearm. So that is where I'm going to get my stretch for the finger and hand flexors. I can hold from 30 seconds to a minute. Now you can bring the fingers back to get that nice stretch through the pad. Or I can take my hand and I can just turn and place it open-handed down onto the ground and then put my body weight onto it and just stretch the 
flexors that way. So that's another way that I can stretch those muscles. So that is going to be the uh, release, the trigger point release of my hand and finger flexors, followed by stretching those finger flexors and hand flexors. Um, this can be helpful if you are having hand or um, finger pain, and especially if you've been doing a lot of pulling, gripping, and um, grabbing with your fingers and hands and to develop that hand pain. So I hope this is of help and have a blessed day. Thank you.